Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video recipe. And in this one, I'll show you how to make these professional standard sausage rolls, which will definitely impress your family and friends. I'll be using puff pastry in this recipe, but I'll explain different options a little later in the video. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video, or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. Okay, let's get straight into this fantastic sausage roll recipe. And for this recipe, I'll be using my homemade puff pastry. More about that in a moment. But if you like, there's nothing wrong with using ready-made pastry, like this pre-rolled puff pastry sheet, or this puff pastry block, where you get more for your money, you just got to roll it out yourself. You can also use short crust pastry, whether it's bought or homemade, or you can use my very popular hot water crust pastry method too. I have lots of recipes on those pastries already on the channel. I'll leave links to the most relevant ones in the description box below. But like I said, I'll be using my homemade puff pastry for this video. I'll leave a link in the description to the full in-depth video on how to make it yourself. For the filling, I'm using pork sausage meat for mine. But you can use any sausage meat that you like. Beef, chicken, turkey, even corn for a vegetarian option. And if you can't find dedicated sausage meat, you can simply buy the sausages of your choice and remove the skins from them. But I'm just using this from our local supermarkets. And if you're in the UK, I get mine from Sainsbury's or Tesco's. Now get the meat into a bowl. And for extra flavour, I'm going to add three extra ingredients to this recipe. Starting with one teaspoon of dried sage. It's a fantastic herb for this recipe and also a quarter teaspoon of salt and sprinkle that over the meat. The final ingredient that I like to add is a good few shakes of white pepper. A half teaspoon of curry powder is a good option too but I'm keeping these traditional. Now using a fork give that a thorough mix until all of the ingredients are combined. Using a spatula, clean down the sides of the bowl. Don't waste any of that delicious meat. Now cover the bowl and set it aside for now. Another great use for your proofing bowl shower caps. And a very quick mention to the channel's Patreon members and supporters, I'll be giving the latest list a shout out a little later in the video. Now on to the pastry. For rolling the pastry out, I'll be using our adjustable stainless steel rolling pin. Now these are also available on the website. These amazing rolling pins take all of the guesswork out of rolling your pastry out to the correct thickness. And for this one, I'll be using the 3mm or 1 8 spacer. Start by dusting the bench with flour. Now get whatever pastry you're using onto the floured bench and give the pastry a light dusting with flour too. And once again I'm using my homemade puff pastry so check out the link below for the full video on how to make it yourself. Or like I said earlier there's nothing wrong with using store bought puff pastry. Now start rolling out your rectangle of pastry as shown. Try to keep the rectangle shape as you go. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll keep the commentary down for now. Once the pastry is the correct thickness, or when the rolling pin guides hit the bench, flip the pastry as shown, and straighten out the sides. Don't be afraid to keep the sides straight with your hands. Now using a straight edge, mark the edges as shown. Once your edges are marked, use your baker scraper and trim them off. Yeah. 
The approximate finish size that you're aiming for is on screen. OK, using a rule, measure out and cut the pastry into eight equal pieces as shown. Now flour your pastry pieces and stack them up on a plate or a small tray. Now let them rest and stiffen up a bit in the fridge for at least 10 minutes before we start to use them. Now turning back to the sausage meat. Using your scales divide the meat into 8 equal parts. Each one should be around 50 grams, that's 1.8 ounces each. Once they're all divided up, dust with a little flour and roll each one the same length as your pastry pieces. Approximately 13 centimetres, that's 5 inches. A light dusting of flour helps stop the meat sticking to your hands and the bench. Once that's done, have a clean up before starting to assemble these beautiful sausage rolls. To bake them on, I'll be using one of our heavy duty carbon steel trays. And as you can see, I'm lining it with parchment paper. Time to put these beautiful sausage rolls together. First job is to make the egg wash. Crack a large egg into a container, add a dash of milk and whisk vigorously until it runs off the whisk as a loose liquid. Before going any further, preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius, that's 340 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 3. Time to assemble them. Grab one of your pastry sheets out of the fridge, keep the rest in the fridge, just bring them out one at a time, as they're much easier to manipulate when they're cold. Now cover it with a thin coat of egg wash, this strengthens the pastry up when baking. Grab one of your sausage meats and place it onto the edge of the pastry and half roll it. Brush on a little more of the egg wash as shown. Then complete the roll. And now gently straighten everything out. Once that's done, then place the raw sausage roll onto the tray seam side down. And now I'll crack on with the rest. And that's the last one done. Once you have all eight on the tray, give them a good coat of the egg wash. Right, that's everything ready. Now get the tray into the preheated oven and set your timer for 25 minutes. And while those are baking, I hope you don't mind if I give my four recipe books a quick shout out. The books have lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in them. And also book four in this series is totally dedicated to bread recipes. Also, the skeleton style oven gloves, now supporting our company name, are also available too. Just check out the link in the description box to our website store if you're interested in any of these items. OK, the time's up and mine are done. If yours still look a little pale at this point, just bake them a little longer until you reach the desired colour that you like. But these are absolutely perfect for me and the aroma of these sausage rolls in my kitchen at the moment is absolutely gorgeous. So I'll get them on a wire rack and let them cool for a few minutes and when I come back I'll have a taste. <laughs> Can't wait. 
right they've been cooling for 10 minutes and the temperature is absolutely perfect for to eat them right now time to give one a try and the pastry is light and crispy and the sausage filling is absolutely delicious these are a massive favorite with adults and kids alike and unbelievably easy to make perfect for buffets picnics and of course as part of a main meal and another big thumbs up for one of our best sellers guys you really have to try this one and as promised at the beginning of the video here is the latest list of my patreon paypal and super thank you button supporters and they are meredith montrose karen crawford carmen boats ron burbridge oliver sander kim allard lucy mcd mossy quodo jens k3250 Sean Buck, 69.96. Angelosa, 4153. Artemis Silver Bow, Vic, 988, 988. And finally, JJ DW Coke. Thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well, thank you again for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen, and bye for now.